In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Wii games on the PC and also solve some of the issues like getting higher res textures for those original games that were designed to play on a much simpler display. So what you can do is get hold of the Dolphin emulator, which is a free download, and you can get that from dolphin-emu.org. So download that, and then you can install that on your PC, and it works for Windows, Mac, and Linux operating platforms. The next thing you're going to need to do to get Wii games playing on your PC is get hold of a copy of the game that you want to play. Now on the Dolphin website, if you go to guides, there's an area called ripping games and this tells you how to do it. And what you should be doing is getting hold of a disc of the game that you want to play. If you already own that disc, perfect. You can just rip it using the instructions here. And as long as you own the disc, you have a licensed copy of the game. So you are not breaking any license rules there. So you rip the disc, put it on your PC, and then you can play it on that platform. Why might you want to do that? A couple of reasons. The Wii games were set to play at a much lower resolution. It was back when TV was at power resolution, which was much lower than what we have today with the likes of 1080p HD, but also 4K and now even 8K. And using the Dolphin emulator, you can play those original Wii games at the much higher resolution. Pretty cool, huh? There is a bit of a catch, though, in that the games were designed to play at that low resolution. So whilst you can emulate them and up the models to the higher resolution output, you may find textures still look a bit blurry. So think about the painted uh, sort of paintwork that is the face of a character or you know any of the things that you're seeing on here so all these different things here you may need updated textures to have a better experience so if we look at for example this picture here of super mario galaxy you may find that the characters look a bit blurry even though the model outline and detail is nice and crisp with the emulator you may want these enhanced. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, with mods. And one such mod is by my friend who told me about this and has made a mod for Mario Kart. So we're going to talk about that. Jackson is his name. I'll put a link to his description. Uh, and uh, he basically created a remastered mod version for a Mario Kart. And the reason why he did that was that was the first game he seriously played as a kid. And he loves to go back to it and relive a bit of nostalgia from his childhood days. And I fully applaud that. The other cool thing is lots of the mods out there are free and Jackson's mod is one such mod that is totally free as well. So I'll have a link to that, but we'll talk about that. So you download this, get a hold of your game, rip that on, and then you will be at the next step that I'll show here. So here you can see Mario Kart Wii is installed on Dolphin and I can just play the game straight up here. Uh, and there's a couple of things though you want to do before you start that. The first thing is the controller itself. Uh, check that you've got a controller plugged in. I've got an Xbox uh, Series X controller plugged into my PC and you can do that with a USB-C lead. Make sure it is a lead that carries data rather than just charge because some of the charging cables won't connect to the PC. They need a little bit of extra functionality in the cable. So make sure it is a decent USB-C to USB cable. So once you've done that, you should be able to plug that in and it should detect it here automatically. So if you've not got such a controller, there are other options here that you can pick. So that's one of the things you can do. Now, the other thing is I said you could increase the output resolution. You can do that under graphics. And if you have a little look here, we've got the internal resolution so uh, we can change that to anything. We can either go auto. So the original native resolution was 640 by 528, but we can go to 720p, 1080p, all the way up to 8K resolution, which is a whopping 7680 by 6336 pixels. Now, the higher you go, the more processing power will be required. So it's going to put a bigger strain on your PC graphics card and also the RAM. You want at least 16 gigs of RAM if you're going to go all the way up here. Uh, but, you know, have a little play with it. Start with the smaller once and if it looks smooth you can probably up the power there so because this is a 1080p video for youtube it's no point me going up here we're not going to see that detail and it's just going to slow my machine down so we could go at 1080p or four times here so like i say the higher resolution you're interested in the more you're going to notice blurry textures and stuff like that so one such option is to uh, basically get mods for each game out there so Mario Kart Wii, like I say, my friend Jackson made MK Wii uh, Ultra as a mod, and it basically gives a bunch of enhanced textures. It also makes use of some other mods out there, and I'll put those in the description as well. But let's talk about how you would then use that as well. 
So in my YouTube description, you'll see a link to download Jackson's mod. And this process would be the same for any game out there where, you know, sometimes the mods will go in different locations. But in Jackson's case, in the Dolphin root area, you've got the user menu here. And when you go into there, you've got load. And then in here, you've got textures and RMC is Jackson's mod. And you dump this in that location. What you then have is if you have a little look in here at things like the characters, what this mod is doing is basically giving enhanced textures for all of the uh, textures that are loaded on things. So if we look at, for example, Baby Luigi, this is the core map for Baby Luigi. And you can see it's a nice high resolution texture. So Jackson's mod is basically doing that throughout the game and giving these enhanced textures to make sure when you're playing at high resolution, the models are not going to look all blurry. They're going to look much crisper. So this works really, really well, which we're going to see in game in a minute. Not quite done, though. You need to make sure you're loading these textures before you start the game for it to work. Now, if you're going to play a standard Wii game, you don't want to mess around with anything in particular. You can just select it here now and choose play. But in Jackson's case with the mod, I need to do a couple of settings here to make sure I'm taking advantage of those textures that he made for the game. So to do that, we go to graphics and I can change the internal resolution, which is going to make the game look that bit crisper for the models and the gameplay. But for the textures, we need to do something as well. But you pick the internal resolution here. So you can see it's currently set to 1440p, but I could go all the way up to 8K. For this particular video, it's only 1080p, so I don't need to go any higher than that. But I've just got it set to four times. That's fine. But on advanced, you want to make sure you've got load custom textures on to take advantage of Jackson's mod if you are installing that. The other thing that we've got here under Mario Kart Wii is if you right click on that and choose properties, then you want to look at gecko codes. And there's one thing you want to make sure is ticked, which is no sun filter. And that gets rid of kind of the sun bleaching out the colors in the game. So that's quite a nice thing to check and recommended by Jackson as well. So we'll have that on and then we choose play. If you've done things right, what you should see is up above, it'll say loading custom textures. So as long as that is there, you should then see super crisp textures in the game. So remember, the textures are the things that are on the 3D models themselves. So like the face on Mario, for example, or the clothing, that's taken advantage of the enhanced textures that Jackson has created. And there you go. You can see we've got a beautiful enhanced graphics. I don't know if you saw there that things just improve there. Uh, so that's taken advantage of those custom textures. And as we go forwards in the game, you'll see everything is super crisp and looks really, really nice. Uh, much nicer than we had on the original Wii because we we're running at this higher output. So we'll go Grand Prix. We'll go 50cc. I'm going to go with Mario. And you can see it looks super nice there. The cart looks lovely and detailed, so great job by Jackson. We'll go with manual drifts, so I'll show you that, and the mushroom cup. And here we are in game, so you can see everything looks super crisp. Uh, we're running at the high resolution. We've also got Jackson's lovely enhanced textures in game, so all of our characters look super detailed, as do all of the textures on all of the models that we're seeing in game. Check out Mario, he looks awesome. So here we go. see whether I can still play Mario Kart like I did back in the day. Really cool. So can we do a power slide? Let's have a little look. Yes, we can. So we'll catch everyone up. We've got our trusty mushrooms here where we can speed up. Oh man, it feels nice to be back inside Mario Kart. I missed the presence there totally. Lit, but we're still in first place, as you would expect. A player of my caliber. <laughs> if you believe that, you believe anything. But it uh, looks gorgeous, as you can see. Totally messed that one up there. But I don't mind. I've got a green turtle shell. Totally useless because I'm in first place. And we are zooming along here. Uh-oh. Thanks for that. Right, who's done that? Who's going to overtake me? No one. You can have a turtle shell behind you. Aha. Let's see if we can finish first place. And here we are coming up lap three of three. I'm in first place as expected. We are finished. Check out Mario. He looks super cool. So there you go. That's how to play Wii games on PC. I hope you found that useful and I hope you take advantage of Jackson's free mod for Mario Kart. It's a good fun mod. And look, it just looks super crisp as you're playing in the game. Uh, if you did find that useful, do let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to see a bit more gameplay, have a little look at my other videos. Thanks for watching.